Hi all, I'm back with another CCN lab session and today we're going to see how we can configure EIGRP to do uh, the dynamic routing for us. If uh, you have followed the last lectures, uh, the dynamic routing uh, is uh, done by the protocols, we don't have to do any routing by ourselves. I have selected the same network uh, diagram that we selected in our previous uh, lectures and I have already made the network up and working and uh, as yet again uh, the links to both the network diagram and the video on how to get the links up will be included in the description of uh, this video so we will start by first checking that if we can access our indirectly connected and that it would be 200 dot sorry 100.150.1 and if you can see the destination host is unreachable right now but after we are done with our routing we can do that so let's start by configuring EIGRP and we will only be configuring EI EIGRP for single autonomous system. EIGRP uh, is configured on the basis of autonomous systems and uh, uh, we will only be configuring single autonomous system because that is only uh, because that's the part of CCNA and we cannot configure multiple autonomous system because for that we have to configure BGP and that is not part of CCNA so we will uh, we will only be configuring EIGRP for single autonomous systems so let's start go to enable mode go to configure terminal mode and after that to show IPRO like oh sorry IPRO like in the previous and do show IP protocols okay and since there is no output so there are no protocols working so let's go with router and then EIGRP and if you give the question mark sign there you go it has a autonomous system number we have to give that number and that could be one into the range that is given and let's say I gave the ID 300 so let's configure the configuration is the same we have to advertise and since EIGRP is a hybrid it contains both the properties of rape and also SPF so we can advertise IDs uh, in any way we want like we can advertise like rape or we can advertise like OSPF for example if I and we can do a combination uh, a mixture of both of them for example 1.0.0.0 and enter that's the advertisement like we did in rape and if we want we can advertise the next network like we did in OSPF with the subnet mask and the only difference would be we don't have to mention the area here because EIGRP works on autonomous systems not area numbers okay so this would be like EI, uh, OSPF so uh, if we have to save time we can just go with RIP because it saves time and we have and the choice to do or, we can, or to select whatever uh, advertising method we want so I will go with the RIP one because it saves time 200.50.0 and there is advertisement for this to show IPRO and as again only the same entries will be there because other autos are not configured yet so once they are advertised enable and configuration terminal mode to show uh, IPRO so then do show IP protocols no protocols router EI GRP and then 300 now the autonomous system number should be the same because we are dealing with single autonomous system so all these numbers should be the same 
and then advertise networks net 1.0.0.0 and there you go one is neighbored 2.0.0.0 and the last one net 200.100.100.0 so if you show there would be change in the routing table there you go there are two entries with the d d shows the entries for eigrp so let's go to the third one to complete the routing go to enable mode configure terminal mode to show ipro to show ip protocols no protocols run eigrp grp and sorry p and then the same id and then start invert using 2.0.0.0 and if we do that there is another neighbor and then start routing with 3 and if we do that there is another neighbor and the last one 200.100.150.0 and the routing is complete and if we do the show IPRO there are six entries like uh, they should be because there are still links six links so six IDs so there you go three with EIGRP and three with directly connected and let's verify for the other two let's go to B to show IPRO and there you go there you go there are six IDs here also and let's check on A apply the command and there you go there are also six entries in here so let's verify by doing the work that we did earlier by pinging the indirectly connected the first ping is also always timed out but the next will be the same if everything is the same okay let's check the other one that is connected with router b and the first uh, like always and the next will be okay and let's check another indirectly one 0 0.0 id and there you go everything is working we can access each and every ip and the network is converged using the nick uh, routing protocol EIGRP so that's how you can verify these settings for by using all the devices so that would be all for the configurations uh, on how to configure dynamic uh, I mean how to configure dynamic protocol EIGRP so that would be all for today take care bye